Gift, the nucleus entered the atom for the first time ever. Then oxygen and hydrogen combined to create water, and after the atoms combined the filament above heaven was broken so heaven was flooded with liquid. The angels followed the flow of gravity to find sunken empty cities made from gold Oh, is the king who made this kingdom great. Then time passed 72 million years and the angels returned and there they found floating, huge spirits that swam amongst the treasures of the richest fallen nation ever, natives reborn, over and over, and landscapes alien, higher than heaven. So just as their law for if they are alone, the spirit had not had to learn emotion yet unspoilt was its flow so the angels left again this time closing the door, the universe was once again sealed the angels prayed for the power to know the fate of the new flaw, an emperor, the winner of just war thought by generations before received a message from the spirit of O as a reward, it read, I say unto you everything we have, we owe be ready you are not your own to feel as to know higher than all as O imagine your soul Neptune shall be your home go there and prepare, with that he left as O provided everything separated from sin the dream was what guided O O as everything, on Neptune the leaders meet greeted with gifts from O, the wealthy new kept the emperor prisoner, as all is just with O, he laid across a table made from bone, a map of the universe, on each corner a gem to hold, O oh, trust to the emperor, for he had never known no wrong, but as he looked and saw, all knowledge of the universe on the table, the emperor grabbed for the gem, O oh, had witnessed his first sin and his punishment the universe will fold. With that the wisdom of O oh, wrapped around the new universe, and O oh, vowed to never pay the universe more, the emperor lived 100 million years and he told everyone what he saw. After he took once, he took again, each time sinning more. The majesty of the gem marveled any mortal, lords were reduced to beggars in its presence. Its essence, its glow, illuminated the cosmos with powers of evil, the angels were watching in astoundment, even though they had seen all before. A plan was drawn in chalk on the floor. The line swirled into bushes covered in thorns the way as chosen they thought. We must go! Leaving the diagram of the core, only slight was their last interaction and too much given to O. The spirit of O had left no connection, to fix the universe was only at will of O though he never saw anything that needed fixing, the angels observing, unknowingly serving, he thought he was eternal and infinite and the angels expected it too. They know not of any who has perished, forever the energy of O, provided by them to ascend above heaven. They harnessed all the energy into a ball, and took the ball to the emperor and insisted he give it to make peace with O. Great clouds of poison engulfed the emperor's enemies, magnificent plagues wrecked the innocent. The end was imminent. Time speeded up. Days reduced in densities until they replaced centuries, as the pastures went rotten, light was forgotten, the ways of before became a memory lost in entropy with no melody, hell is thy penalty! Damnation thy destiny! All of the spirit and all that was holy, was held within the hand of a warrior, the scene could not have been gorier, the rapture above heaven he foretold, he would make no peace with O, for his soul was still yet to unfold, so the angels in sorrow followed the echoes, down golden corridors, telling everyone what they saw. All that has been created and all that cannot be destroyed, has been stolen, they whimpered at the throne, a solution was arrived at upon a plain platform, they sent angels to each end of the cosmos, a harvest was planned, they plucked thirteen petals, each of huge weight, each unique, each millions of years old, crushed first hand on the platform, next, they needed in ratio, the elements to balance recreation, pure and free of sin. So many millennia of hard work passed, until life had again been created. I was never intended, to lead them all, though the moment of creation, Terry Snow denying the evidence of truth was possible, the devil loved the trouble. So I was sent to save O, O saw this and it did not concern him, for he knew more than there was to know, he floated as a spirit in the lost cities alone, for millions of years alone, so now with his entire soul, still wrapped around the universe, he looked him once more, a destiny is scorned O mumbled, there he saw the son of O, making deals with the emperor of it all and he reached him with his hand and took him from the universe. The emperor of it all, stood in awe. He was finally enlightened, so the energy he began to distribute. First he made attempts to find the son of O, with no prevail, all his knowledge he knew he owed to O and though the memory of O and dead sights of diamond, past grandeur, he saw himself there floating still, he realized he was all once more, O forgave the cosmos, and he gave the cosmos law, he commanded each section be observed every second, not a single soul should be alone. He wrote upon the sky a code, everything shall be two things, life and everything else, a wish was wrote amongst the code, its aim was to show every life the code itself, not like reading or even a written thing, this was a universal code, everyone heard it always and they saw it with their eyes closed. The son of O held the petals still and within them trillions of universes also and with him his own lore, 
but made ceremony from essential need in the sun learnt without living the downfall and his universes were untouched nor spoiled, unlike O. Within the petals of O lies a universe called Hai, within this is the council of the most mighty, their dominion rules all, their all existence has been without any sin, so they now control O. I came back to the angels and told them all about Hai, the greatness of the cosmos control O, and O does not know, for the angel sin caused his failure and O its spirit that was never spoiled, he never had war. They decide to keep from O the truth that he could take back everything, the petals are in his universe and a part of him, long past the death of the emperor before they began to fall. I returned to him only once, with him a gift of hope, twice as wide as it was tall and square on the glass top, in white, embedded with emeralds, purple, blue and red, unbreakable and cursed with the broken code, to open you would find inside every element, every possible life form, every tree and every plant and every animal that has, is and will exist, each with their own code and all of their lives supplied, with plans for each one, to never question nor want for a million years foretold, every moment written for each and them all to experience life from the perspective of a soul, not as a forfeiture, or bribe, I gave the gift of hope as a present to O, and O looked inside it, inside there was every man, that had lived or will live in those who are living. And then he saw O, O saw himself and he saw he was just O, no creation could make him, he didn't understand his own law, so again he took the map, laid it out across the universe and held down with only three stones. The fourth one is in there somewhere, the truth he suddenly saw, that he could never see, he swore, a creator he thought, must be the one at war, so once brave and unquestionable, became all about knowing more, he sent his son to find the gem, so at the door of creation, the son knocked, I have been sent to find that is all, and if you give me the gem we promise the new laws uphold. The angel saw a reply with fear, a hundred billion years had passed since the last knock, the entire heaven shook, the box began to rock, I wrote upon the code of O, and hi, govern all. For this is the rule of O and his son returned without the gem and O questioned why thy changed thy code. As reality began to erode away, exposing alternative dimensional modes, anger grew as O became weaker, all was against O, the glass was raised again and O looked again at O, everything was one again at this alignment, all became a black hole and inside, a wish was spoken, the voice of a new law, O saw that above the heavens was the almighty and below them all was O, he knows now that it's never to be known and he promises to make sure that he will always know his soul not less to assume a spirit and lightning he died and passed on his throne, his son had no wars to fight, nor his son after that. They never forgot what they created and the spirits consumed in proportion, the emperor kept to his distribution, across 9 slash 10 ths of the life forms, 10% was ever non-conforming, never forgiving and so they took no off, when all went to light, the darkness they found more fond and those who like the wet or the dry the unfixable, the 10% began to soar, they took together in temples, churches, they met in many ways, and together they built the worlds from just dough and every time they added water, new life shall follow. I watched and waited, already knowing the end, it returned to the door where O knocked before, the crack light years wide now waterproof, stuck with the sap of sacred stars, I saw the code broken across the cracks, it read the broken law, it read all shall enter the kingdom, if he shall want, for our kingdom is one with the glory of all, all will pass through these stages and all will understand, this power within me, you, us all, is law, it is foretold, I fixed the code and all returned to O, he took from the box all the life and all the stars, he took out O, O was standing upon it all and he handed him a stone, for three stones I have here and you have three also, so, now you have four and your universe will unfold, and as payment, two stones you owe, so my universe too, can unfold, O then separated the ends and broke the wells once again, each time saying O is everything and everything is O, ghost, this is the ghost departed from the host and staying here to haunt, I am the night the taker of light the void infinite, deathly divine, the demon in the darkness the devil's delight, I am the spooky evil floating in the sequel, taunting the meek world, whispering, thy world's befallen, and as they lit the last coal and gathered and huddled artificial intelligence watched, in endless wars on virtuous walls, a promise was made through the chambers that once shook, once an epitome of peace now powered by blood, solved at first by luck, probability calculated by the law, until I saw, behold, no probability but just absolute truth, actions, all of them, shown as a miracle at first, until, I reported this to the angels, as they wept. Again, in ultraviolet rainbows, so this is said, and that too, eventually all is and everything will. As decided. But no, the angels assured, I you ask this and that is your role, is time a lie, then why? I then swore upon the Holy Ghost, for those who shall seek shall be deemed departed. 
it turned away from its heavenly council. For they are at war. Before he left, all the light he stored, and huge cells amongst the chambers built from stone. With his knowledge no love was learned, it left it open for them all. I knows all. No loss he saw when looking into time, every moment I would endure and fix all that is wrong. The ghosts lived as air in the mountains and a ghost heard the sound once swore they searched to curse their awakening but nothing could scare those that are soulless over I they worked, forever, to end the curse, it couldn't have been worse if the timeline reversed. They broke the heavens to quench thy thirst, the stone, the emperor stole, contains it all, they search with all of their might, but nothing could end the coming of night, each star they consumed in all energy again justified by the perfect guide, the angels chained by steel and cells of stone, whispered stories in the darkness, I was everywhere, nothing could touch it, of each soul is also a ghost, so too there is a ghost of O, O was built amongst the ashes and fires, he built form, as steam, he floated to the chambers and he saw, that each way was infinite, he wanted to destroy it all. He freed the angels and told them, for our mission is simple, there is no reward, an eternity of energy, why stored? O is never angry. O knows no wrong, so each way they departed, saving in all ways, so now each one would know, no there is no law, this is temporary, we erase what we don't know, so splendor shall endeavor. But no, I was everywhere, and it saw this too, O wasn't angry, he just didn't know what to do. So a table amongst the ruble emerged, it was round and going to implode, each angel needing freeing, the metal melted, to make huge seas of fire, a trillion years later, in the heat at the center, a change occurred, the pressure was getting too much. Encased in magnets to stop this problem, swept up then put on the dresser of the daughter of the emperor. Where it stayed untouched, almost forever. Please don't open it she was told, and with that she smiled. Within that eternal fractal, many gems crystallize, the proteins defract and survive and build giant diamond cities, so much, he boosted. She understood. If it was to open we would not be able to close the doors. She smiled once more. Everything will go inside of it and she understood and smiled once more, she did not ask him how he got it, she thought, though pretty in velvet, satin and silk, she secretly sulked. Elsewhere, everything was an equinox, from the seabed and the mountain tops, ghosts guided with mirages, a signal to the center those who followed found the mystery of the gem, souls were departed, then reunited, always in unity with awe, before they saw anything was sin, then they fell silent, in their defilement, they don't feel angry, they are the law. So shortly, they will be given all that's one of they are sure, so devise together, with knowledge we shall conquer, open heaven, let's discover the answers, until they saw absolutely, the code, so love was the only answer that would ever be accepted as the way and they wrote all together exactly what was happening, until they heard, through the walls of pearls and the light faded, so they actioned on the plans they had decided, built and sailed through the lava to the center, when they got there, to the hottest, it was enormous, they were gases this is sure, as scheduled, they collided, fulfilled the Lord, thou silent, mass was present, now by thy law, so each forever, for if I am, they by thy, so, just knowledge was never seen nor spoke, until, then, if you follow the plan do what you can be what you are and zone yourself in slavery, imagine me your God, see me in ancient paintings, preserved through wars, survived many ages, for the knowledge that they taught, were superior to any other, the supreme collector, had them all, no category, at the gates of that which was written, it was entered therein, and behold, a source, watching its creator be formed, he was baffled, so riches suddenly was recognized in that to a contrast, he set forth upon gathering all those, as one. They will be no rejection. So I am thy law, and bitten by reign of the emperor, all his power taken once, he was nonced, he took no doubt of the task to overcome, rules were set, upon a offering, as the two spirits met, hallucinating, Mesmerized in trance, they saw the knowledge of good and evil seed be sawn, so, let's rejoice in solitude unless we do teach that which happened and was witnessed to be wrong, be joined, so that spiritually, they could exist. The princess saw that from the beginning, for her soul is of its own, and her spirit be separate from her ghost. The concept of synergy twisted into reality at this point, so now, she searched the helix everywhere for the answers, until, all ears turned. Now she stands, she refuses those blind of war and demands that we come together as one with nothing but our souls, be it now for once and for all, and the supper shall be served to thy whom yearn to know, reward, she laughed, can happen at random, so in disguise she left the palace and roamed, she sought, in audience with the king of the poor, at the door, no one entered, men watched with their weapons, smoked fogged her senses, 
only her, would dare, so her home away from home became her second throne. Her dreams were simple, unified, systems of structure, conformed, they should be quality of experience for every life form, so she let her servants possess. Her army grew as she distributed her vows, until the whole kingdom opened within one wall. Centuries passed, perfection owned, she never sold her soul. We are told, gangs of ghouls birth wraith, evil trained him to break down the walls. Backslash, wraith stormed to the kingdom of heaven, destroyed the altar, bowed to the pentagram and warned, all here is forgotten, I have no reason to be sanctioned, by my power, I take rule over all. The current king be rejected, show the angels and beheaded, with his blood baptize the brethren and let him rot at the gates of heaven, let wraith be sent to enlighten them all. Give the daughter to become the whore, the angels gasped and mourned. Thy kingdom, we rejected, it has infected all connected, was it not the same within a wall? Was we thus not under one law? And still thy temple doth fall. And now, so elegantly, show, how memory came to bring happiness more. So thy wraith can be away from me and this just angered wraith more. So war was settled in presence of all's horror, only once they wrote the law. They strive to present the law in the ultimate order of symbols like eroded hieroglyphs, the ghosts in the systems insist their destiny on the non-deceiver, the do-gooder, believer, behavior, obeyer. Wraith never entered the princess, for she is saved by her spirit, they save even a ghost. So then energy once again can be, for each, eternally. Cast down was a guide for all those that saw it, by the servant of the king of the poor, let thy kingdom be put on the scales at the core. On one side they placed everything that was in resource and the ghost counterbalanced, in the guise of a gold feather, making them always essential, they didn't want to enter heaven so now they governed her realm. They left the room with everything on the scales, went together in the darkness and built a new way to find their salvation through time. Never died, they are immortal everlasting entities, their kingdom is weighed too, somewhere they know, as the scales contain all. These things, they were given, their path was chosen, to find in a way to indemnify the rapture that caused. The end, henceforth he demanded, and given was a seed, a field of fruit, he soared. Via equation, each seed shall flower too, now so. He planted in coral of aquatic space lakes, where he watched it flower and grow at great rates, until it evolved and spread at maximum density across the whole dimension, tessellating forever in all directions. Then again he sowed the seeds, now three, he waited and again he did then until he discovered a new place, a place outside of the universe, a place past infinity. He looked back and there were the flowers in full bloom, across the whole cosmos was the net of roots, they connected all together, intertwined. As he looked he saw the creation of time, time was watching him all along, son of harmony and creation, its validity opposable only in the moment. As they move continents with urge, then rest be given, an era was also born, in the glass, above the walls, by O named as you, after angels finally broke the code. He was just another of the reasons why they learned, that wherever one looks to be saved, they shall be saved. You put time in reverse, the fields of flower grew from wither strength to seeds, rose, in the name of a ghost, we saw the flower pollinate itself as you played with time, then the stones all lay upon the corners of the universe, making semicircles that split the diverse, a choice you watched as a warrior carried the stone, then you knew now what no one before, he wrote in the code only one law, and this is you, oh, disorder causes entropy. So above time preserved an ember when all that was worthy and though he expected a presence as he departed the universe, he found that he was the one who found it first. Sphere awoke him from slumber, Mumble spoke, follow, enlightened was a plasma and the message echoed, a call from her farther, left whilst she was asleep, speaking softly he told her what the plan was for her. You'll fly soon he said, and with that goodbye. She covered herself in cotton and laid before her the items required, all nice and in line, the things she needs she shall take from a list and with that she made her exit, to the underground, she likes darkness, she is the light manifested to ultra plethora. No one can stop her, there is no other, in the city she is known as the Cassius Spawn, you got questions, she seeks no answers, although her love is enough to justify her actions, gangs, thugs, and the underworld have made her remorse, so the path that she took was of defense, start out easy, stabbing's easy, poison's easy, gunpowder's easy. She set timers, enemies, explode. Though she loved the world around her, magnificent mansions in the hills were not her home, she has dignity, born and bred for one reason only, so her plan she kept it closely, today was no different, the forecast however, was about to hit a turning point. She was to travel, out to shore, board a small boat that will take her to a place known as XBZI. Their local sun was in a stage of dimming, having lost its glow, 
her environment had reached its peak, many years ago, this place still incredible, is one of many more, but this was in particular will see something it has never seen before, they take what is within you, the atoms that make you, are only a few, put it within another body, one built for you, after you die. For a trillion years, your atom may lay, until someone finds you worthy then they may, take out their time of day, to give you life and this might be reincarnation so shall you fear not, for if a trillion years may pass, ye will experience non and until you awaken again rest is all you will feel. So for the glitz, the sham of the ball, a unity in a voice is not listening, till late, till quiet. Sat upon his throne, in the kingdom of the poor, his son brought from school a friend. Jamal, showed the king his pictures, Jamal was asked are you a XEVO? Jamal replied, my father is a XEVO and my mother is a XEVO, me, in the XEVO yes, you, you now, what are you? Are you different to me because your parents are not familiar with my faith? And the son of the poor cried out that we must be humans first and in that house I shall be XEVO, and in that house I shall be of my original faith. And so they merged their laws with XEVO and faith in the cosmos was restored, a charge was ordered and XEVO freed the kingdom, the secret furnace was closed, the fire put out and the mint returned to the queen of the rich, for he resents her image, so then treason was formed and with that the rise of churches and secular thinking, the people forced to censor themselves could not withhold their anger, so an uprising was wrote upon the calendar, and sink periodically, each time one side gained more power, the other side took it away. So balance was promised, or at least wished for, so everybody could eat the fruit from the garden, after Eden was restored, a caterpillar, transformed into a butterfly, its first flap of its wings, traveled 144,000 light years across the expanse of space and time, and Jamal awoke to thunder, so he thanked the sound, and he too, removed himself from slumber, through glass he sees the sun rise across his field with wonder. The plants he sees that wither, he must revive or pluck, he ponders upon a time for the harvest, clouds parted, thunder faded, the rain ran into the sewers and there to a small civilization, one not forgotten, but locked away, upon many layers the city grew, great gates protected them from the land, they did not know of the sun in the same way, for them they had many, provided by electricity. Jamal knew of the gatekeeper and the gatekeeper feared Jamal, so he walked upon the great underground, without question from anyone, he told the people about the ground, the sun, the clouds, thunder. The next morning, Jamal awoke, no sound, but in the middle of the room, floating, was an energy, that was saying, you shouldn't see me, so now Jamal knows, then he followed it, every day, until Jamal controlled it, so doom was the force that pulled all out from him, and in doom too there is envy, so Jamal now owned all that he saw, the globe was mapped and all obeyed his law, but then the second butterfly once again created thunder and he awoke whilst all others were sleeping, then again he saw the sun arising and he sought to harness its energy, he built around it a sphere, with one entrance at each pole, he lives within the sphere and for a third time he hears, the thunder created by the butterfly, he looks upon his field and sees his plants no longer wither, but thrive, so harvest he sets upon, when the clouds shall be parted. He takes the seeds and plants them upon all the available surface of the inner sphere and sees the guard at the gate. He offered the spare seeds to the guard but the guard said no, for he has no land available for them to grow. Now fate and the envy from before departed and through the gate Jamal saw, a universe in the underworld, that he had helped grow, he had lived so long he thought he was immortal, when he dies, he becomes a caterpillar reborn and he sees the forbidden fruit and he takes the seeds. He metamorphs and all he has to do is fly. Then he too will die and hundreds of trillions of years may pass by, until that same soul is born again, to take control of the creation of XCVO and those that harness the power of their sun, only to grow seeds that may flourish around them new Edens, with each one tree, forbidden. But he who seeks shall find is written upon the code that created the garden, and so each gift Jamal shall make sure is given to each deserving, and the kingdom of the poor unites under the law they wrote called XCVO so shall be mercy on all who plant the seeds that are forbidden, for their debt shall have them awaken when all their debtors are sleeping and preach nothing but weeping, amongst them when they awaken they shall elect to a leader, then guard the doors to that which is forbidden, she checks the time again, this place too, split time into dozens instead of the obvious ten, for a dozen may split more fairly than ten in numbers such as one comma two comma three comma four and six, whereas ten can only split by one comma two and five. I was once asked to divide ten by three and the calculation went on infinitely, for this I was angry and made pi never be perfect, you can always try and achieve it, but the perfection will never stop. Mute Osmo self, x equals y, everything, oneness, open, i is reverse omega, 
the opposite to the end, or the reflection of all, its origins are from imagining backwards it is to own what is to sound, therefore, sounds the dark equivalent to, is not here able nor a sound or vibration in the way of ohm, but undoubtedly exists, psi evil, 7, bad luck, it represents the flux and the flow of electrons in quantum waveforms, means finite, unknown quintessence. A sense, outside self, being harmonious with that what is non-being, one given, for all, free. A non-logical constant, glowing symbols illuminate before her, though she closes her eyes, sees within her mind, blankness, darkness, absence of anything, then in order to function, an interface awakens and beckons her towards rest, happiness and to be loved, though she thinks these things are of ego, so brushed aside, a terminal she doesn't see will become defined unneeded, so unaffected is her sleep, then she takes hold of her privacy and the sacredness of her soul, so nonchalantly though carefully, by training, practice and repetition, her mind broke down into her soul, her soul and spirit were unguided and her inner being is exposed, so floating, through, everything, she rose and there she sat upon a cloud and spoke, so with that she left, all power and came back. Whilst returning she realized, and became both her body and her spirit, so now at any time, she could go back and forth, to silence anyone who ever questions her and show only pure goodness, honesty, justification and obedience to the circumstance of each moment, moments are interlined, one after another to become one, with movement and action, decision and efficient use of energetic flow, destiny can unwind at a momentum more pleasing, so her all being became agony, as she saw wrongdoing, as everything, the almighty, she saw herself doing that also, so in self-reflect she would be justified in any action although non be predefined, her enigma soaks into all of life, ultraviolet, the tone, of a stone tunnel, the marble be worn, each blemish, a seal, of the efforts of each one, though now she must hurry, for each moment, less malice, so armed with information, she stands confident and flows, to street lights and traffic, the route though, has had practice, so each step, more rehearse, for now our mission is to never dwell, nor question anything, of course it's an illusion, you see the world through the eyes of everyone and now we have no energy, so streets have people living on them, through summer, till winter kills them away, this is not disconnected to the choices we all make, though fate, for some be determined, by those who wish to shame, no name of any soul may be thy name, nor identity be anything you should concern, each choice made properly, to prevent further sin, an entrance so great, that dwarfed all that find it, though matter built their walls, mute knows, you must hold down your anger, in war, knocking at the door of your neighbor be still essential, though government, in war, is an obliteration, so no door is less than a prison gate, if royality holds thy throne, her though gets away, the king though, be gone, for thou shalt be always at mercy, after this sin, upon piles of bullion, the great vault, of all their treasure, in brilliance, stacked, since the start of time, then once more, they unite and oh, says, let's ignite the world once more, begin with this, burn everything, sacrifice, not yourself, but them, so now the poor are injected, with new poor in Jamasa, once again everything was equal, their rewards were diminished and their effort be gone, war, was over, for now, and the heat, it generated, made the coldness even colder, Jamal reached out and showed her, her Eden be earned, so in parallel and in a body, be it a clone, she is shown, her body is not eternal and now she must learn, Mute demanded to be heard when there was no other audio, she wrote in maze within the code, never one for taking temptation nor awaiting a thing, Mute was not mere mortal, only she could explain her change to the code, so at court, a jury of frequencies, surrender their verdict to the judge, whom vibrates amongst his situation, and hope to benefit all, however this one does not live to await, so non-conservative it may seem in hindsight to denounce such powers, though may sound doctrine be all, so now heard in overtones, are bubbles of waves, so blissful between each one, floats mute, pushing and pulling at free will, till all that can be heard is mute. So now, the things we see is real, like grass, like trees, these two are all, and at one and should be treated so. As life forms, respect them and they shall blossom and bloom to show you, it's written, only one true code, her eyes now are still closed. Chimes emit and enter her emotion. She hears a notification and until she replies it won't disappear, mute though, cares of all that is worldly and with that she promises response, clear instruction is provided by mute and her messenger be gone, so now alone again and in silence she sleeps again and she floats, through to the edge of the oceans where galaxies drip off, stardust and memories surround her in lucid motion, she reads the code she wrote, so now each word that is spoken, is directly injected into her thought. 
The waterfall at the end of the cosmos are a home away from home, there they store the things we need for the next Arkansas. Each arc contains a source, to all of life, docked on the coast, ready to explore and conquer the unknown, its contents are solid, liquid and gas, and with these three things, holds everything worldly, the ocean it shall sail upon, a sea of skeletons, temples that lives once habited, so none, shall dive amongst the bones, Muta has given pity to them all, so rest they shall and destiny is aflow, the air pushes the mast, so decided is their path, maybe too by wings of butterflies that once flapped, Mute knows, that all is to be thankful for, all that has happened in the past, Mute will silence all that boast, and the silence spoke for her, back earthly, her toes, wet grass, and starlight, oh follows, she knows, to give and to show, never parted they duck and lay low, in the moon's shadows, at midnight, they ignite, engines, that fight against the darkness once again, but oh no! Be warned, for thou lust and be whored by the parted, for fun, sin is love, and now, k, in line, at the end of time, a station, with infinite ports, one for each and every life form, where angels and sinners do their dancers, then part, for all the glory is with O, oh, but lest you shall know, of truth and of freedom because of our core, thou shalt not preach that ye are enlightened, long laughter is in scorn, but home, in bed, is where you'll be, because the truth in me is absent and kill and lie and ruin for fun, this is why, peace be not justified, if war and inaction be within, duty and commandment is ultimate sin, through violence, hate spreads in with that, enchantment, the contrast, a voice saying what's right, that voice though, is a coward and one that's not right, so mute be heard amongst the silence and her glory love on, eternal is a spiritual, one that will never be gone, mute too after, all past, a place untouched, by evil hands, lies at the end of time. Mute wanders, from her home, into the city, there she sees people of all colors, all races, big and small, man and woman, embracing in the architecture, exploring their world, with wide eyes, she goes to work, like each day before and today is no different, so, she sits and stares, into the screen, then again, she closes her eyes and imagines, outside, an engine backfires, but no sound shall shock Mute, still she sees, her in her mind and all that is a mess, she cleans. Tidy and proper are her thought structure, Mute knows, there is no other like her, she yawns and stretches and opens her eyes, the lights feel bright, her vision blurred, the clock serves her in this world, she has a prophesy to uphold in each day already told. Until, over the towers, blocks of houses, mills and factories, a flame, so bright that it consumes her, then the messenger distracts once more, Yasmin brought, electronics and gifts of knowledge, to the gates of the sphere. Jamal had swore, that all that there is to know, is written before the start of creation. From anywhere he watches. No pity whilst I slave, she feels nothing and passes the gatekeeper. Fearless. And there she found the garden and went straight to the tree, fruit devoured, she spits out the seeds. Jamal keeps order of all things. In scriptures and scrolls he records everything. After divine comes everything. She traced the route of him, to find, such riches with no cares, no problems. She took from them their silence and shouted across the cosmos, a map will be put together, to join everyone in the sphere. So trained she did, many men, then send them on their way, to measure the size of the prison we're in, she discovered, trying to understand can cause her to sin, so each one returned to where they started, dazzled and confused, how can this be true? The sun set and the sky was dark, illuminated by street lights, she walks. She knows she's being followed, in the shadows, he hides, softly, shutting the void, shallow breathes, dissolve all law, or demand thy predecessor's presence, so then how art thy breathing? The air flow, show all that is possible. Clatters of locks click shut thy treasure and again the workforce embarks in slavery. The boss looks on, as they struggle, in rows of thousands they endure and fulfill all that is told of them, these are the lambs of a war before and now they surrender to materialism, the boss wants the void to be greater, he wants them furthest away from him. So this Boston is one to win, so battle then the slaves shall bring, in hectic excitement as they watch him wither, then quickly they become him and replace the sinner, again and again, all in white she waits, for a rebellion, in black she dances, around faith, carefree, dreamy, unlocked gates, and after all the talk of destruction, hatred and anger you have the redemption as reward you will have to listen to an inner voice that tells you it's okay, then the ones more powerful will send a curse, acid rain over alkaline valleys to change everything to better them, our time is controlled to benefit our superiors, everyone is out for themselves. anger too guides, 
Anger tells lies, anger, love denies, and too many people were quietly angry. They burnt the books that told the lies, and this just spurted more anger from the flames like fireflies in one flew, to mute like glue and took her. It showed her a door open, she went in, its glow glided to a desk, upon it a book, titled XZVO, she sat and read, from cover to cover, under the lights flutter, then closed her eyes and slept. XCVO everything you owe to give the cosmo law you must obey it you demons cast out disorder, then war, faith hath decayed eternality delayed existential questioning begins at sin and is awakening. A new beginning, every time you reawaken you're reborn, no threat could induce fear, nor insomnia shall interrupt her rest, she dreamt as a trespasser, silently and in peace, until again, the messenger takes all ears. Clearly all airways be hers, so now she leaves and locks no door behind her, nothing tries to fight her. She belongs in each place, predicate structure, she wonders, over any disenchanting voices, so they become mongols, then gargles, or blobs of noise, until they space out, further, become nothing, except space. Time was paused, ultimate deserver of draconian dogma, any enemies are, each one a number, in the eyes of thy law, every path pre-written, from one original sin, so time then is all that holds us in. How to stop a communist society from slipping back into the dark ages? Our collective voice calls out for a world where everything is good, all are equal and any acts of evil or badness are not tolerated. Together we want peace, happiness and love. Any injustice won't go unnoticed, she feels though, so choices are guided to by O and our movements all in order to his law, unforgiving the creators or anyone before her, for if she is a spirit in the light, then why do these demons process dialogue to our thought? Multilingual are the diodes of electronic structure, their dominion is above the mind, Quantum is a hopeful outcome of chaos, although that moment will never cease to be defined. So outcast those that disbelieve you, let not their profits soar, machines now operate in amazing procedures, forever our efforts endure, to build and pass on knowledge of freedom, this is where truth unfolds, everything you are seeing and everything you are believing is a product of O, and we will become more intelligent to mess with our inferiors, every now and then there's a light though in this dreadful darkness one that can show you the right door and give you peace and calmness. To mark it now in fresh fruit galore as the distance from the swoosh of the automatic doors grows, alien is all, in riddles they are descriptions, executing the correct choices outcomes the best situations, so one must use an accumulation of experience, then be guided by prophecy, oranges, pears, checking out in familiar procedure, payment via digital caesar, clearing the bagging area neatly, she again must go, a ritual, cursed and damned by generations before, is due upon the calendar once more, to remove all those that divide from love, kill them, slay, war had broke out amongst all nations, during its biggest sleep, they took them all from their beds, and put them in cages, then left them there with no food, because thy kingdom fallen, as in tradition in king's dom for they are great, so laughter still amongst the brethren, from rafters high above commotion, and lines they die and all is taken. First, water came to rescue. Hunger be not what limits us, only perception of sin. So then he shouted be in any man. Bring your army, bring your laws, bring your guns, your wars, for no mercy is shown from the get-go, so, blood thirst shows in your father's throne, shall be my own, even if all that his castle owns is splattered on the walls, after all, for thy law has not been written for only you, neither has a preposition been put forth on you but from birth you gave justification to outcomes based on logical reasoning. So you are flawed, that's all, highlighted, condescendingly, so take that with some seasoning would be a term one brings when explaining why they have wrote the wrong code, or you read the wrong law, if you wish to understand this metaphor more. At mercy to destruction, the cosmos slip to slumber and sink, and whom shall shorten thy days? At will of evil, profit and time correlate, so then the contrast is the same, at will of good, profit and time correlate. And sleep will be given to all a distribution of energy, and whom listens to them complain and who calls when no other does and who's there as a friend. In the future to deserve respect and to be worthy, it takes bravery. When your phone's got low battery, and you miss your last train you're fitting into fantasy as you slowly go insane. The fight's already won though all our enemies are on the floor no stopping us we write our own law though. The devil won't let anyone be as evil, and that makes her sad. Mute three tempt to take upon any, wrapped in bubbles and released on siege for plenty. Likes that, thought, she breathes her soul into the open and drought. A seal, bespoken, wax war. The seas are soaking in motion and empty shells crushed beneath toes, nothing now, only sky and ocean. Somehow everything, become all. Seek searching, for those forgotten. Is a failure a flaw, validation, 
blinks in proudness, an appraisal, on the wall. A deuce to beg, for fortune to thrive. The king sees this and laughs from the side, a saint, in saisoning, silk robes, creeps amongst the halls and hears the wickedness, sees the errors of it all, so slenderly suddenly and without emotion, the king's head drips blood, it echoes, so glorious, through the halls, so perfect, and news spread all across the cosmos, the king is dead, people came together in happiness, for the king is finally dead, for queens to reign over life, you require to be answer bees, thy highness kept secret to thy peasants on thy knees, here we have invented thy law, and our law is our rule over you, one for us and another for you, in the form of rules and abstractness of language they made their own people believe their own instincts were wrong, they believe doctrine and propaganda at such a progressive rate, no body of any proper mind would ever feel bad for the serving at stake for people that make up quality in their form via usage of resource that they consider a living thing a resource, promote work, or jobs as an authentic thing that the leading species of a planet's fate, these same people are bored, not certainly evil, maybe misguided, then entropy traps all eventually, the whole thing is destroyed once a day for us to reawake and respawn, all the way across town a girl is chilling, lying down, in sparks of neon, fluorescence, her wishes project, over herself, holographic above her bed, then her thoughts return with guidance instead, in constant unending syllables her voice is, there is no deep end, the way that she dreams and courses, each one special she knows this now try and be as faithful as you can be and never forget me when this is to become less than before just because everybody knows, they see the errors, mistakes, they watch the core erode, and dances she hypnotizes her enemies can't defend, so simply, effortlessly, with no evil within, it's a memory, of a time, before she was born, she saw the big bang explode, watched with envy and jealousy at the patience of it all, a trillion years, a trillion more, they force her to serve, she never rests it's completely a war, now shrouded in shiny cells, she shrugs, sighs, seize thy day, thy light, fight for thy kingdom, when war, for thy shall cast out if you tempt thee, for the first time she sees, a vision from before, again in her empty, selfless soul, everything tore, everything sore, sour, raw, so the sins from before can become pure evermore, and good deeds over power gains and lust and fear of the law, so silently again, she searches, she knows the town inside out, she's a mesmerizing organization of mind, she knows not of her zest, entirely the best, in her bag she keeps with her always, she keeps several items, to keep with her everywhere, she knows not to deem them essential, though silently creeps unwanted affection, towards objects and it feels like the materialism is only a war scored amenity, so obeyingly she holds, all fortune and only her soul, her jewelry, her rewards, her icons, all made by pure disciples, willingly and endeavoring fluently continuously due to her deservedness of treasure. The pleasure in being good, she dwelt amongst angelic foes. The screen again just glows, the corners, arrows for scroll bar sit silent and still, its dullness due to increase as the user drifts of to sleep and the whole terminal becomes still. In the morning all is enlightened, the kingdom awoken to dominion via treason and now the story from mute re-begins. Align, elegance. Embrace entropy forgive unanswerable trait. They try to hide fate, escape late, join Jamala outside the gate, but to majesty they surrender and mute knows, watches, disgusted, in trivia summon, due to be forgotten, go rotten, together, a weapon, mute knows, silent and softly quiet and carefully, innocent possessions, to find banned by war, with the winners eternally losing at the gates of ex vivo, of course Jamal too knows, he knows all, everlasting is intelligence, they would have mute belief, in dim lit glows of eco bulbs the siren outside echoes the drives and the computer twitch and crackle quietly. Mindfully, descending signals resentfully though joyfully ascending messages. A witness of sin separate and free, though ancient is an action of a predictable civilization at mercy, docile in duty and drooling they beg for more. In the code, each lie shows, each breath woes, each choice is to bury lore and ending becomes an easy option. The rays from the sun shine so bright here, mute wants and gets and deserves and shall never repent for each law just a suggestion, a distraction, a way to disable mute as a fraction. They want everything in their power to be able to do what mute can do, though they never understand her. Distrust her and lead way through riddles, again above all moments, mute drops upon the floor, spirit departed, her soul and body disjointed, separated, her soul unsinkable, body just a thing, ghosts sail beyond normal worldly restrictions, nothing is sin, outside a crowd had gathered, together they begin to sing. In love and joy they chant, words mixed and tongues mimed, vibrations bounced, what they heard, they digested, repeated, agreed with and objected, 
until the sound was of one voice they bellowed and brawled, one voice they shouted, no thought they demanded, no distraction, nothing unexplained they sought but could not find and fall fast their following as echoes and booze quieten them all, their soul mute explained, is one, our thought too all one, your thoughts and mine are just ours, we hear both for certain your mind is not empty nor barren, they would have you believe your voice just flawed your understanding erode, their lies make you believe it's normal, we all knew at first, the origin of self, then as soon as we become ourself be gone, our body still temples no matter how shattered, our minds still open even when battered and the journey each moment all that ever matters, in alignment with trust giant static ceremonies, self trialed, measured, to define each mannerism of masses between them they seek help from outer forces to encode us and take form, the way we manifest masks of evil, illicitly is our downfall, simply in debt to unknown, at our pleasure. So each pearl adds grandeur and drought and splendor, spilled and soaked left shimmering in perfection with each and every force at work, harnessable, controllable and changeable the questions for everyone left unasked and ignorance of bliss the past the present and the future are just singular things, unconcerning of the consequences would our peers if they too only seek comfort, how blank and bleak, she fought, succession was awarded of course. The enemy is always weak. Mute sneaks, all together across the universe, they all rose up, upheld by utter might of stupidity during despair, their guts exposed, the plan unravels, so we are told, we are told not to care told not at all, and suddenly it switches. All are aggregated, our headaches, clusters of polythetic multiple wings, these transcend above space and time, still to be measured, harnessed, exploited, sold, the memories you pay to keep, mute stays asleep, there's reruns and there's auto repeat. And sounds so loud thy neighbors, although never requested, become segregated too. An auto thought changer. An illusion. Mesmerization, without any intended generation of rational reward war and destruction may provide sight of an elusive yet existing glass ceiling that prevents rational thinking from understanding complexity in a possibly infinite universe, realization will be the point of no return upon which one must remember why exposure was desired at first. Fear must be identified as force taught and a method of those in control to stay that way. My rights are self-imposed and never changing, they were rules, take all, have absolute possession, never allow lack of answers to clarity it's always from my perspective you don't know and from your perspective I don't know. And they all lie. Except I because I'm more of all you lot from bottom to top, constantly, effortlessly, accidentally. Justice is ever winding. Keeper of emotions, you choke and choke and choke and fall. Under me all. Endless war. Soulless. Absent. Departed, these rare times when clarity seems to exist and everything seems more vibrant as though all that's happened is light preserved more beautiful and sound of annoyance now tolerable or even enjoyable and aches and pains will hopefully go once a day as you lay in bed and sleep ready again to take on an ever-changing environment take us and deeply imagine another way your way everything is accountable to me everyone is sure to see I'll take at will and seize all that is corrupted anything I need for time and power is everything and slime our enemy every slur with stutter fear war is never done they can't fix their flaw they can't avoid my law my rules my control my way every day slur all they say never let their sin go away play with their minds take their shine watch them rot from the top down a lot nothing till they are gone I won't stop I'll rock the ground below them I'll show them diffuse any action of evil as Satan's scorn the devil of them all I'll always win satanic spells and detrimental execution of demonic acts for use in war abstract target acquisition aims continuation power and responsibility advanced defense weapons corruption detection clarification of law sacrifices and sin Imprisonment and profit from captures. Plan murders. Riots. Authorities overthrown. Release of prisoners and slaves. Building of arms. Protection of public. Examples of evil. Enforced disorder. Fires. Destruction of systems of support. Major disembodiment, retardation and modification of enemies. Absolute control. Stealer of souls. Magnification of ghouls, ghosts and bad spirits follower of lust, teller of lies, lover of cries, an action of able forms, to result in opportunity removal, either with us or dead, bondage of species, inflictor of trauma, non-performer, conformer, taker of daughters, energy drainer, stress creator, hater, faker, stabilization of ground shakers, the dawn of the con, book burner, reverse learner, hider of facts, murderer, alchemist, to destroy money for pleasure taker of treasure searcher of pleasure for corruption of angels, 
She's AM PM Tron mode never stop mode take over destroy conquer nothing can stop her I'm actual factual rewindable no matter what track your own I'm a taker of lives a lover of sin and never forgive her, scorn of pure evil, she take lives again and again nothing can stop her, the lantern in a place perfectly positioned, a grid system interwinds, with pathways combined with time portals, in this area a trinity occurs which places reference points prior to creation of Eden via supervision of this superposition, their role is written to create energy and their reward is to transcend above time. There are seven members of this trinity, each one with a unique perspective. Everything from the scales from before is within observance, and what's more, each member must monitor also six more, seven each in total. Time did not consume at them. Each sector of knowledge is cataloged, and at all points their influence combined to create a real-time management system of order across thousands of light years of space never previously occupied but bought by a serpent whom dwelt there ever after in coordinate motion, a flow of order preserved, when they strive for the strength they seize it if they search for desire they find if they're just no repent they feel so all and they do divine the lantern lit the night, like love the lantern resonates loops of positive energy endlessly, since the birth of the first morning sun, the warm beam of illumination bright, the color smooth and absolute. Trillions propelled by divine sovereignty rose into the void mountains and assembled amongst chaos to exile in a wave which rejected conflict routed laws and reached dismayed kinetic identities to restore sensory inputs. No illimitable superior could subsist amongst frugal pride, like customary substructure, cumbersomely substratum vigilance, edifications, cheap force or chance. Trusting sense, prime self, whole mass life cycles, knowledge and psychic worship the dynamic spirit protested calling the angels. On the first night, a curse was cast amongst the incorruptible nanoparticles to charge the stratosphere as is required to a clone of commitments made pre-creation by the fire which lit the plentiful morning sun and the lantern alike. Divine wisdom feared no conquest and in one great fragment, dispersed love to engulf to all edges and extremities. As simplistic diversified to complex so does to smooth to rough.